All right, in this experiment, we are going to look at the impacts of ocean acidification on organisms that are calcareous. So they have a shell made of calcium carbonate. This is the shell of a sea urchin. So this is what a sea urchin looks like just beneath all those spines. So we have two dead sea urchins here with all their spines fallen off. You can see it's no animal anymore, just the shell. So the shell is made of calcium carbonate. You can see this beautiful features of this shell. They're little calcareous plates that interlock. You can see their five-part symmetry. So we have two urchins that are about the same size. And what we're going to do is do a little bit of an extreme speeded up experiment to look at the impacts of acidity on calcifying organisms. So organisms that have a calcium carbonate shell. So what I'm going to do is pour just normal seawater on one and vinegar on another, the other. And we're going to let this experiment run for a few hours. I'm going to start the stopwatch. So we'll be pausing the videos. And if you look right now, you can see that these urchins, there's a little bit of green color on them. That's just some microalgae. Oh, nice. That's quick focus. The <laughs> microalgae that's been growing on them when they were sitting on the beach. And you can see, you can just sort of see on, let me just take a minute, and in the one that's in vinegar, so obviously vinegar has a pH of about two, it's very, very acidic. So this is an extreme example. Hopefully the ocean will not get that acidic. Uh, and if we look closely, we might see Close up view here of our sea urchin shell or test is the word. And notice that there's bubbles starting to pop up. So the vinegar is starting to work on this urchin shell. And here's our one that's just sitting in its good old seawater. All right. So we're going to set this field of view and then every half hour we'll reset. We'll come back and take a look at how they're doing. So I'm just going to get this field of view and we'll pause it. Okay, it's been half an hour. Let's check in on our urchins. So I'll just take a little close up. Let's see how the one in vinegar is looking. Some bubbles there. The freshwater, I mean, sorry, the saltwater one. So, so, so don't really think so much about the color. These are just algae that have covered it. You just see the shell still strong and intact. And this one in vinegar still looks good. Feels a little different, a little lighter. You can see it's getting a little bleached. How pretty that is. Look at that. Put it back in there. I'm gonna put it in. Can you hear that? I can hear some fizzing happening a little bit. A little bit of bubbling going on there. All right, so we'll check in and again in another half hour. Okay, here we are an hour in. Let's take a look at our urchin, urchin test shells and see how they're doing. So here's the one in seawater. Still looking similar. Right? Still strong. Tap the shell. Still holding together well. 
It's CR1 in vinegar. I tap the shell still together, although it feels a little different to me. When I look at it closely, I can get that in the view. Shine some light. All right. So we'll let those sit for a little longer. Check them again in a bit. Okay, let's check in again on our urchin test. Then an hour and 24 minutes. So here again is our one sitting in seawater. If I tap it, still feels strong. Still looks complete. Let's check out our one that's been sitting in vinegar now for almost an hour and a half. Oh, it's starting to get brittle. Can you see the? You can start to see through it. Those junctions where all of those calcareous plates, you can see there's little holes now forming. So those plates are no longer continuous. It's quite thin now. You can see where the shell is really. Starting to dissolve. If I touch it here, oh, a little bit just broke. Okay, so it's starting to get brittle. I'm going to leave it there for a little bit longer. And we'll come back in and check on it in about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been two hours. Let's check in on our urchin shells. So here is our urchin shell that's been sitting in seawater. Nice and strong. All of the joints between the plates are there. And here is our poor urchin that's been sitting in vinegar for two hours. You can see that the shell has fallen apart. And as I touch it, just to pick it up, it's starting to just, you're not even pressing it and it's just literally falling apart in my hands. You can see that also that water is cloudy. So this is what can happen as water becomes more acidic. Again, this is an extreme example because this is a very acidic solution, the vinegar. So it dissolved this shell very, very quickly. But you could see that even with a little bit more acidic water, it could cause the shells of organisms to become more brittle. And you'll see also, as you study this, that another issue is the shells being built and repaired. So we'll conclude this experiment now.